Hi, in this video we're going to show you a tool you could use to pretty much kill anything that's running on your computer. So this might come in handy, let's say you're browsing the web and uh, you're getting some pop-ups or you went to some site you shouldn't have and closing your browser is not helping and you just want to kill everything real quick and just in case there's some kind of spyware infection happening at that moment. Or maybe you just want to close everything that's running in the background just to uh, free up some resources or whatever reason. So the program we're going to use is called Kill em All. It's just an executable. You download the zip file, extract it. Then there's several ways you could run it. So you could just double click it to start it. And you have some options here. Uh, you could press D to run in debug mode. And what that will do is it'll show one line at a time what it's going to kill. And you could say yes or no to it. Uh, you could run it as administrator with A. Or you could run it as a trusted installer with T, which is like one step above the administrator if you really want to kill some stuff. And then there's the C option to uh, show the configuration. So we're going to close it here again. We're going to run it as administrator first just by right clicking on it. Run as administrator. And now you can see we have the option for debug and to run as trusted installer. And if we press C, we can see the configuration, general settings such as Always force run as administrator. If you want to change the search engine used for searches, which you'll see in a minute here, then you have your allowed programs and block programs, which you could add uh, while you're in there. And this also offers some command line functionality too, which you'll see on their website if you want to check that out. Okay, so if we do D for debug mode, okay, so it'll go through one process at a time here. I say yes, no, or allow or block. And you have other options here to see information about the file if you press I or O to open it in File Explorer or P to open the path in a command prompt or S to search the web for that particular command there like so and then once you decide if you want to kill it or not you know yes no we'll just say no to this now we'll just uh, close out of this and we're going to try it a different way here. So if you hold down shift when you double click the executable, it should start in trusted installer mode and I believe control will start it in debug mode. But we're just going to do admin mode once again here. And then we'll pick trusted installer mode. All right, so we have Word, Excel, Edge open here. We have a bunch of stuff running down here. So let's see what happens. We'll do T for trusted installer. Okay, so it gives you a listing there, and you could do a log to generate a log file by pressing L. Press the key to exit. And it pops up your log file here. Same thing you see on the screen, pretty much. And then you can see everything's closed here, and everything's closed down here. And then, of course, you could run it again in case things start back up, and, you know, as many times as you like. And then it puts the log file right there as well in the same directory as your executable. And I believe you could run this off a flash drive or even a network location if you want to. I haven't tried it that way, but supposedly that's what they say you could do. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download this. It's free to use. And then you could uh, try it out if you need to kill everything running on your computer. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.